Welcome to Writing Smart Goals. This is a self-directed training tool designed to help prepare you to write smart goals as part of your performance management planning process. This training should take approximately 20 to 25 minutes to complete. You can use the buttons at the bottom of your screen to adjust your training experience. Clicking the two parallel bars will allow you to pause the presentation. Once paused, these bars turn into an arrow. Click on the arrow to resume the presentation. Throughout this training presentation, you will be directed to pause at specific points to complete activities or read detailed information. You can use the timeline slider to move forward or backward in the presentation. Clicking on the sound symbol will allow you to mute or unmute the presentation. Clicking on the notepad will display the table of contents. You can move to other areas of the presentation by clicking on the section titles within the table of contents. Clicking the expand button allows you to change to a full screen display. Once in full screen mode, you can press the escape key to return to the normal view. Finally, clicking the CC button will display closed captioning. If you do not have sound capabilities, you would want to use the closed captioning functionality. George's performance management process includes four main areas of focus. Section 1, core or individual competencies. Section 2, individual goals. Section 3, job responsibilities. And Section 4, the individual development plan, which is not rated. The core or individual competencies in Section 1 are either pre-populated for employees or can be selected from a predefined list of competencies. The job responsibilities in Section 3 are automatically populated for most employees based on the job responsibilities assigned to their title. Where most employees and managers struggle is in creating SMART goals for Section 2 and Section 4. In addition, because traditional job responsibilities are not necessarily measurable or results focused, it is recommended that managers and employees translate these responsibilities into SMART goals and include them in Section 2. Creating SMART goals for these sections will be the focus of this training session. So what is a SMART goal? A SMART goal is one that is specific. The goal should state in clear terms what will be accomplished. It is measurable. The goal must be stated in quantifiable or measurable terms. It is attainable. The goal must be attainable given resources that are available. It is relevant. The goal must be something that is important to achieve. It must matter to your department, agency, and the state. And a SMART goal is time-bound. The goal should clearly state the time period in which it will be accomplished. Let's spend a few minutes looking at each of these criteria in more detail. Specific. Goals should clearly define what you're going to do or accomplish. This is most easily achieved by using action verbs like increase, reduce, implement, create, coordinate, etc. When trying to make your goal specific, ask yourself, what do I want to accomplish? Why do I want to accomplish this goal? Who needs to be involved? And how will I accomplish the goal? By doing what? Measurable. Goals must be measurable so you have evidence that you've accomplished your goal. If a goal isn't measurable, you won't be able to determine if you succeeded in reaching it or not. When trying to make your goals measurable, ask yourself, how much, how many, and how will I know when it's accomplished? Attainable. Goals must be attainable but still provide a stretch. They should be challenging but not impossible to achieve. When trying to make sure your goals are attainable, ask yourself, can I achieve this goal? Does this goal provide a challenge for me? Do I have the necessary knowledge, skills, and abilities to accomplish this goal? And can I achieve this goal given the resources that are available? Relevant. In order to be smart, goals must be important to achieve. This means that they need to be aligned with your department's and your agency's strategies and goals. Accomplishing the goals must make a difference to the organization. When trying to make sure your goals are relevant, ask yourself, how does the accomplishment of this goal align with and support my agency's strategies and or goals? Is the purpose or benefit of accomplishing this goal important to my agency? And what would the impact be of not achieving this goal? Time-bound. Goals must state a limit or deadline by which they are to be achieved. 
If a specific deadline isn't established, the goal will be too vague and won't be truly measurable. The time frame for your goals should also be within the performance cycle you're in. If the overarching goal would normally extend through multiple years, you should break it into smaller goals which can be accomplished within one performance cycle. When trying to make your goals time-bound, ask yourself, when must this goal be accomplished? And does this deadline create an appropriate sense of urgency? So why do SMART goals matter? Won't any goal work? Let's walk through this example to see why SMART goals are important to an efficient and effective work plan. What if I said to you, bring me a rock? You are a go-getter and decide to bring me the best and biggest rock you can find, so you bring me this giant boulder. I say to you, that's a very nice boulder, but I really wanted something smaller, something I could carry around. You search long and hard and find a beautiful, smooth black pebble to bring me, perfect for carrying around. Now I say to you, this is really lovely, but I actually wanted a red stone. It's my favorite color. Finally, you bring me exactly what I was looking for, a small red stone that I can carry around. Although you finally achieved the goal of bringing me the rock I wanted, a lot of time, energy, and resources were wasted because the goal wasn't clearly defined using the SMART criteria. In today's competitive environment, we don't have the luxury of wasting time, energy, or resources by pursuing the wrong goal. We need to get it right the first time. Poorly written goals are typically very vague, general, and broad. They may be focused on achieving a good end, but they aren't specific enough to be measurable, so it is difficult to know if they've been achieved. Become more healthy is a poorly written goal. It's focused on a positive end, being healthy, but it doesn't include any specifics. SMART goals, in contrast, are very specific, using action verbs to spell out what will be delivered. They provide specific measures so that you will know when you've achieved success. They are tied to the organization's bigger goals and should take effort to achieve. Because they include a specific deadline or timeline, you know when the results are expected and can pace yourself accordingly. Lose 10 pounds by July 1st, 2000X is a SMART goal. It tells exactly what I will do and I can easily determine if I've reached my goal using the criteria provided. Let's look at some samples of goals for an HR recruitment specialist. The first example is fill more jobs, while the second example is to increase jobs filled as a result of job fairs at Georgia two-year and four-year colleges and universities by 5% by the end of the fiscal year. When we try to evaluate each of the goals by the SMART criteria, we can see that the first example doesn't provide enough information to make the goal SMART. It isn't specific, measurable, or time-bound. Without those factors, we can't determine if it's attainable or relevant. Using the second example, we are able to answer each of the SMART criteria. Sample 2 is a SMART goal. Pause the presentation for a moment to read through the SMART criteria for the goal on the right, then continue the training. Now let's look at some more examples from different agencies and functional areas. Here are some sample goals for a mechanic position within the Department of Transportation. The first example is repair all vehicles, while the second example is to inspect and repair 25% of the fleet by the end of each month. When we try to evaluate each of the goals by the SMART criteria, we can see that the first example doesn't provide enough information to make the goal SMART. It isn't specific, measurable, or time-bound. Without these factors, we can't determine if it's attainable or relevant. Using the second example, we are able to answer each of the SMART criteria. Sample 2 is a SMART goal. The sample 1 displayed on the slide might be something like what the role would list as a job responsibility. While we know it's part of the job, the way it's currently stated isn't very measurable. Restating a job responsibility as a SMART goal helps employees to understand exactly what is expected and makes it easier to determine their success at the end of the year. Again, pause the presentation for a moment to read through the SMART criteria for the goal on the right, then continue the training. Let's look at one more example from a different agency and functional area. Here are some sample goals for an auditor examiner position in the Department of Revenue. The first example is conducts financial audits. 
Well, the second example is to complete 110 to 120 corporate net worth income tax audits, maintaining 60 to 70 percent field audit time prior to July 31st, 2000 X. When we try to evaluate each of the goals by the SMART criteria, we can see that the first example doesn't provide enough information to make the goal SMART. It isn't specific, measurable, or time-bound. Without those factors, we can't determine if it's attainable or relevant. Using the second example, we are able to answer each of the SMART criteria. Sample 2 is a SMART goal. Pause the presentation for a moment to read through the SMART criteria for the goal on the right, then continue the training. Now we're going to look at several sample goals from various state agencies. Let's see if you can apply what you've learned to determine if the following examples are SMART goals. Here is a sample job responsibility or goal for a licensed practical nurse with the Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities. Performs direct patient care by administering medications. Is this goal SMART or not SMART? Pause the presentation for a moment to think through each of the criteria to determine your answer. You will need to use your best judgment in determining if the goal is attainable or relevant. Once you have completed your analysis, continue the presentation to see if you were correct. Example 1 is not smart. Is it specific? We don't know what type of medications. Is it measurable? We don't know how frequently the medications must be given or to how many patients. Is it attainable? Without knowing the type of medications, the number of patients, or how frequently the medications must be given, we can't determine if it's attainable. Is it relevant? Yes, performing direct patient care is important for the agency. Is it time bound? We don't know when this action must be done. So how would this job responsibility or goal look if we were to make it SMART? The next slide will show you what this goal would look like if it were turned into a SMART goal. Example 1 is now a SMART goal. Administer 100% of prescribed medications by direct distribution to assigned patients as directed on each assigned shift. Record distribution, explanation, and side effects of prescribed medications with 100% accuracy. It is specific. Administers prescribed medications by direct distribution to assigned patients as directed. Records distribution, explanation, and side effects. It is measurable. Completes 100% of medication distribution for assigned patients at each prescribed interval. Records with 100% accuracy. It is attainable. This goal is in reach for the number of patients assigned. It is relevant. Patients prescribed medication must take it as directed to support recovery. It is time bound on each assigned shift. Now that the goal is smart, the LPN involved will be very clear on what is expected of her and it will be easy for her supervisor to determine if she's meeting those expectations. Here is a sample goal for a ranger with the Georgia Forestry Commission. On an annual basis, respond to all plowing, harrowing requests within 10 days and complete each job in no more than 30 days with a minimum of 47 miles of plowing. Is this goal smart or not smart? Pause the presentation and think through each of the criteria to determine your answer. Again, you will need to use your best judgment in determining if the goal is attainable or relevant. Once you've completed your analysis, continue the presentation to see if you were correct. Example 2 is a SMART goal. Is it specific? Yes. Respond to all plowing and harrowing requests. Complete each job. Is it measurable? Yes. Respond to all requests within 10 days and complete each job in no more than 30 days with a minimum of 47 miles of plowing. Is it attainable? Yes. This is attainable with proper training and effort. Is it relevant? Yes. Plowing and harrowing are important in minimizing damage by wildfires. Is it time bound? Yes. On an annual basis. Now let's look at an example from the Department of Natural Resources. Here is a sample goal for a conservation ranger with the Department of Natural Resources. Enforces natural resource laws. Is this goal smart or not smart? Pause the presentation and think through each of the criteria to determine your answer. Again, you will need to use your best judgment to determine if the goal is attainable or relevant. Once you've completed your analysis, continue the presentation to see if you were correct. It was probably pretty easy to determine that example 3 is not SMART. Is it specific? 
We don't know which laws or with whom we will be enforcing them. Is it measurable? We don't know how frequently or to what degree we must enforce the laws. Is it attainable? Without knowing more specifics about what is required, we can't determine if it's attainable. Is it relevant? Yes, enforcing the laws is key to protecting the natural resources of the state. Is it time bound? We don't know when this action must be done. So how would this job responsibility or goal look if we were to make it smart? The next slide will show you what this goal would look like if it were turned into a SMART goal. Example 3 is now a SMART goal. Performs daily bag limit inspections of hunters and fishermen in the field and checks their hunting and fishing licenses in accordance with all applicable laws, rules, and regulations upon contact during the applicable hunting and fishing season. It is specific. Performs daily bag limit inspections of hunters and fishermen, checks hunting and fishing licenses. It is measurable, daily upon contact, in accordance with all applicable laws, rules, and regulations. It is attainable. This goal is attainable with proper training and monitoring. It is relevant. This function is key to protecting the natural resources of the state. And it is time bound during applicable hunting and fishing season. Now that the goal is smart, the conservation ranger involved would be very clear on what is expected of him and it would be easy for his supervisor to determine if he's meeting those expectations. Here is a sample goal for a correctional officer with the Department of Corrections. Reduce facility security violations, technical errors, and inmate grievances by 75% within 90 days. Is this goal smart or not smart? Pause the presentation and think through each of the criteria to determine your answer. Again, you will need to use your best judgment in determining if the goal is attainable or relevant. Once you have completed your analysis, continue the presentation to see if you were correct. Example 4 is a SMART goal. Is it specific? Yes, reduce facility security violations, technical errors, and inmate grievances. Is it measurable? Yes, reduce by 75%. Is it attainable? Yes, by knowing and executing on GDC, SOPs, LOPs, and post orders. Is it relevant? Yes, this would increase safety and security at all facilities. And is it time bound? Yes, within 90 days. Now let's look at one more sample from another agency before we let you try to create a SMART goal for yourself. Our final sample goal is for a Title II administrative support position within the Professional Standards Commission. Respond to all customer contacts and meet stated customer requests. Is this goal SMART? Or not smart. Pause the presentation and think through each of the criteria to determine your answer. As before, you will need to use your best judgment in determining if the goal is attainable or relevant. Once you've completed your analysis, continue the presentation to see if you were correct. As you probably determined, example 5 is not a smart goal. Is it specific? We don't know what type of requests or how we need to respond. Is it measurable? We don't know how quickly we must respond or how many requests we must respond to. Is it attainable? Without knowing more specifics about what's required, we can't determine if it's attainable. Is it relevant? Yes, customer service is a core competency for the state and a key focus for the agency. It is also a key responsibility for this role. Is it time bound? We don't know when this action must be done. So how would this job responsibility or goal look if we were to make it SMART? The next slide will show you what this goal would look like if it were turned into a SMART goal. Example 5 is now a SMART goal. Provide initial response to all customer contacts within the same business day, including the time frame for request completion. On an annual basis, meet 50% of requests within 48 hours. Meet 90% of requests within time frame provided to customer. Document initial customer inquiry, initial response, time frame provided, date of completion, and nature of service provided. It is specific. Provide initial response, including time frame for request to completion, meet requests, document initial customer inquiry, initial response, time frame provided, date of completion, and nature of service provided. It is measurable within the same business day. Meet 50% of requests within 48 hours. Meet 90% of requests within time frame provided to customer. It is attainable. 
This goal is attainable based on the current level of customer requests. It is relevant. Customer service is a core competency for the state and a key focus for the agency. It is also a key responsibility for this role. And it is time bound within the same business day on an annual basis. Using this SMART goal, the administrative support person involved will be very clear on what is expected of her, and it will be easy for her supervisor to determine if she's meeting those expectations. You've just had the opportunity to review sample goals from five different agencies to determine if they were SMART. Now we will do one final activity to ensure that you are ready to turn your goals or job responsibilities into SMART goals. Pause the presentation and write a goal for your own job, being sure that you address each of the SMART criteria. If you need a refresher on the criteria, go back in the presentation to listen to the information again. Once you are satisfied that you have a SMART goal, continue the presentation. Now that you have a deeper understanding of the SMART criteria, review your performance plan to determine if the goals you have listed are SMART. If not, revise your goals until they meet the SMART criteria. Having SMART goals ensures that employees know exactly what needs to be done and by when, eliminating confusion and wasted energy and resources. A win for all involved.